This is the absolutely gorgeous view from our hotel. There's so many palm trees, I don't even know what to do with myself. Thanks. Hey there, Marlene. Hey. Where are we off to today? Um, we're going to get supplies for our poster board um, to because we were selected for CGIU Exchange. Woo! Woo! So we're going to go make our poster board now. Off to FedEx. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And we're off to CGIU. We're about to get on the bus and then we're going to head over for dinner and the opening session and to check in with everybody. And we are so excited. We're so excited. Don't we look ready? We feel so professional. <laughs> we're on the bus right now and it's absolutely packed. It <laughs> I mean, honestly, they could have picked a much better place for us to have this conference. I don't know why they chose this. Face. What is this? What is Somebody explain to us what this bird is. We think it's a requirement that you have to be beautiful to go to school here. So obviously <laughs> we fit right in. Clearly. So CNN is here. We're at CGIU right now. We just heard Aloe Black talk and we were like five feet away from him and it was really exciting. It was amazing. Yes. Um, every time someone says Bill Clinton, Marlene goes, and it's Where? amazing. <laughs> And we're meeting a ton of cool people and we're really, really, really excited about yeah. it. And everyone's watching us video. Ourselves. And they all think we're really weird. So, it's fine. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to try to grab a drink. Do you guys want one? A drink? We are so excited. I am so excited. Oh my god. I can't remember the last time I was excited. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this shit. Shout, whistle. with the desire to make a difference. Next comes the idea, I can do this. Then comes the aha moment, I will do this. You've all had it, and that's why you're here. Thank you. Okay, as soon as you see it, let's start the lightning round. Where is everybody? <laughs> If you're not fast, we can't call it lightning. <laughs> you're different, you're interested in different things, you're gonna do different things, but you, I want you to be able to imagine the staggering impact people can have beginning right where you are now. And you don't have to wait till you look like me to do this sort of thing. <laughs> you know that, it wouldn't be here. But I think stories make all the difference. And one of those lessons was one that my grandfather, who was a poor farmer in a village in India, would often tell my father. And that was about the value and the importance of being a good citizen. And I didn't understand for a long time what that meant. But what he would always say to us is he would say, whatever you become, whether it's a doctor or an engineer, those are really the two primary options of your <laughs> kids are good citizens and what my parents my parents taught me what that meant and to them it meant that when you see a problem around you when you see something that's broken in your community that you step up that you say something and you take action to fix it really said uh, I'm the most unlikely person to be even sitting here or even uh, to have an opportunity uh, to sit in the audience um, I was born in South Sudan uh, before then, I was still part of the Sudan. And so my, my family and I uh, left our village uh, in early, I think, 1996, when I was barely five years old. If you ask me about my story, I will tell you it isn't just, it isn't personal story. It's the, pers it's the story of the dream of Yemeni people, of Arab countries' people who dream for freedom and dignity and equal citizenship and peace and democracy. Don't go out and tackle these issues because it's the right thing to do. If that doesn't compel you, what should compel you is that all of 
these issues will in some way affect your future. It's the smart thing to do. And so I would say engage those who don't have the opportunities you have. Meet them where they're at. Understand why they didn't make it to university. Why they couldn't keep a job. Why they got pregnant at 15. Ask the questions. Learn about the real obstacles that stop people from getting to where you're sitting right now. Be grateful for the opportunities you've had and then go and work with those who don't have your opportunities to create the future you want to live in. We're taking a group photo and I feel like a sardine. So we just saw Bill Clinton talk and Chelsea Clinton talk and freaking Taukul Carmen, who is like the coolest human being on the planet. America Ferreira. Uh, surprisingly amazing. awesome. Really uh, we're really excited. We're going to go back and possibly utilize the pool and finish our poster for tomorrow. And we're really excited. And I got a selfie with uh, Bill Clinton over the, the back, back of his head. Of his head. Yeah. It's as good as it's going to get, probably. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs>